I beg your pardon. Good evening, Mr. Van Horn. Good evening. Would you ask Miss Pixiana if she would be so considerate as to see me? Certainly, sir. But I think both you and I know that she will be very glad to see you. Huh? Here you. At your service, Mr. Montague. I don't like being made a fool of by your artists. But I have no control over Pee Wee and Ginger. They're I'm always... I'm talking about Dixiana. You'd better advise her to stop throwing roses to strangers. I beg your pardon, sir. By what right do you give orders to Mr. Catano or his artists? Well, sometime I might show you Senor Catano's IOUs if it's any business of yours. Please, please, I'll go at once. And don't forget to speak to Dixiana about the road. I resent that message to Mr. Dixiana. You're the son of the Pennsylvania Dutchman who inherited the Van Horn estates, aren't you? Cornelius Van Horn is my father. Mm. Well, tell your father that both he and his son had better stay out of my business. Anything that has to do with Miss Dixiana is my business, sir. And just how do you reckon that? Are you in love with her? That's not a matter to discuss with you. My boy, I don't think you should be so serious about a girl you treat so lightly. Sir? Have you proposed marriage? Have your parents met the young lady? Why, no, sir. Well, perhaps they have different customs where you come from. But in New Orleans, these little formalities are observed by gentlemen. However, I don't think Dick Zian will be upset. You keep her name out of this, or? Or? There's one formality I do know about. It has to do with a glove across the face. I see you have the glove, Mr. Van Horn. Oh! Gentlemen. What's the cause of this scandalous behavior? This gambler said something about you I resent. Mr. Montague said something about me? Well, I'm sure Mr. Montague couldn't possibly say anything about me that anyone could resent. You're quite right, Miss Dixiana. It was a mistake. No, it wasn't. I insist. You're quite mistaken, and any impression you might have had to the contrary is wrong. And I take this occasion to wish you good evening. Good evening. Carl, what happened? Dixiana, do you think that I'm a gentleman? Why, certainly. Do you think I'm serious? I think you're very, very serious. <laughs> Dixiana, oh. I adore you. Oh. Dixiana, you mustn't kiss the customers. What's the meaning of this? This lovely lady has promised to be my wife. What? Dixiana, you're not going to bust up our trio, are you? But I just idolize him. Now, ain't that sickening? You can get a wife anywhere. Or where are we going to get another baby ostrich? Yes, and the only woman slim enough is a Spanish dancer, 80 years old. <laughs> Can you imagine the customers when we break open the egg and out comes that old Spanish omelet? <laughs> it makes me feel as if I want to bust into tears. Oh, Pee Wee. I am going to bust into them. No, Pee Wee. Cheer up, little fellow. I'm taking Dixiana to the plantation with me. You boys come along for a visit. No. Gently, Pee Wee, gently. Home cooking, three meals a day. The old hat says, wear me high. But the stomach whispers chicken and hoe cake. Please say yes, Pee Wee. No. Oh, I'll be so afraid with all those grand people. You never turn me down yet. Please say yes. All right. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> I'll go and tell all the folks. Folks, folks, listen, I got the news for you. Cupid. Yes, Mr. Carr. Ride to the plantation and tell my father I'm bringing three distinguished guests. And Cupid, tell him that I'm bringing him a daughter. What's all the commotion? <laughs> the commotion is me, because I'm going to marry the grandest, handsomest man in New Orleans. No. Oh, no. Are you, you going to quit the same business? Yes, sir. From now on, I'm appearing under the personal management of Mr. Carl Van Horn. No. Oh. 